All right, so one more quick one before we leave this property. We just want to point out uh, wind mitigation. So uh, roof to wall attachment. So right here, uh, this is the truss system that's resting on top of the bond beam. And you can see that the straps don't wrap over the truss. So this becomes a, a clip credit. A clip in single wrap is pretty close, depending on the insurance company, uh, how they want to give credit for savings. But that's the embedded strap. You know, clearly they have the minimum nail requirement, which is only three nails. So if you're in Florida and you ever hear of the third nail, that's what they're referring to, uh, how many nails are in the straps that fasten the truss system down. So, you know, why the builder shorted the straps, I don't know. Um, there's no really no reason to. This is not a tall truss. So this is pretty much a standard truss framing. It should wrap over the truss. That way they get the max credit. You know, here in Florida, we deal with hurricanes. They just had a horrific tornado, which I don't know if that would prevent the roof from ripping off in Tennessee. But, you know, storms are pretty violent and intense. So, you know, you want your house built as strong as possible. So, uh, but that's what we refer to when we talk about roof to wall attachments. This is a clip because it doesn't wrap over the truss. So, uh, could be a downgrade in insurance credit. So every five years, every five years you have to get a, uh, a wind mitigation report or if you change insurance company. So it's a very important feature. It's the single largest savings on your homeowner's premium. So very important. Okay, right? Are you there? I'm here. There she is. Hi. Super Cub. All right, have a great day, everybody.